Before lights, camera, and action, there's makeup. We're here at the Cinema Makeup School in Los Angeles. Now, you've worked on such great films as Thor, Nightmare on Elm Street, mm -hmm. and the upcoming Mission Impossible, correct? Yes. Yeah. And you're an instructor here? Yes. What is uh, the course for uh, the person attending here? What, what will they learn? Um, special effects wise, we range everything from mold making to um, sculpture. Uh, to learning how to do more lab shop things where you're um, working with chemicals uh, that are used in, in special effects from foam latex uh, with uh, you know, different sorts of solvents and um, just whatever it may take to, to create this final effect. Latex, um, silicones, uh, gelatin, <laughs> ranges all the way from, from the simplest uh, benign little things like doing little blisters up into these these sort of grand type of makeups. And um, now I know that you know when I'm on a shoot there's a lot of time spent in makeup and uh, what would you say an average just for a person to be normally made up well what does that take usually? Um, well for a normal sort of corrective a beauty makeup it should you know it ranges anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and then when you get into special effects makeup or prosthetic makeups, it can range from you know, as little as 20 minutes to up to four to six hours. So uh, their day starts really early in the morning, even before camera or, or other crew members can show up. And then uh, you have to work a normal you know, eight to 12 hour day. And then there's another additional hour of, of removal time with that as well. So. A broken eyebrow. Yes. <laughs> so imagine the next time you see a simple fight scene where one guy punches another guy, they've got to go through all this just for one little cut above the eye, one little black eye, and then as it progressively goes, that's why taking something like a fight scene takes so long to film in one day. I'm here with Lee Joyner from the Cinema Makeup School. And Lee, could you tell us a little history of your school? Sure, we've been around for about 18 years, since 1993. Uh, the school was started and founded by Sasha Lee, a makeup artist. Um, she has extensive history going back, um, gosh, at least uh, 10 years previous, working with a lot of celebrities uh, like Engelbert Humperdinck and Brooke Shields. So you came out of the industry yep. into the school? Correct, correct. And you were originally on some of the Star Trek? Sure, yeah, I've worked on uh, shows like Star Trek Deep Space Nine, um, shows like Voyager, as well as uh, TV shows like Stargate, movies like Godzilla. And so this is probably one of the reasons why you wrote the curriculum for like the creature design. Now, yeah. You teach some of this, yes? Oh, most definitely. These are some of my sculptures here. This is an example of our creature maquette sculpture class. Uh, this would be what we would call a concept class, where four movies like 
Lord of the Rings or Hellboy. They're learning how to take a design that is in the script or on paper and create a three-dimensional physical concept that the directors, the producers, the actors can look at and get an idea about what it's going to look like in front of the camera. Right. Um, so, and then after this concept is agreed upon, we would then take it and create, like you, you'll see here at the school, the actual physical creatures, the, the creations on top of the actor. So this would be more of a concept class. Tell me a little bit more about the curriculum here in your school. Sure. We have classes that will range from as little as one week uh, to up to five months. Uh, we train in beauty, character, where you learn how to do, like the cut uh, above your eye. Yes. Um, you learn how to do facial hair, old age, theatrical stage, as well as dealing with HD. You have to take that to a much finer detail when you're dealing with close-ups. Uh, we train in blood tubing, how to cut someone's throat and have the blood spray, uh, spray realistically, learn how to use silicone for translucency and depth, um, learn how to create an extreme old age to a creature. Um, we're covering hairstyling, airbrushing, body painting, anything where makeup is needed, we train how to do that. A few months ago with uh, Joel Harlow, who is Johnny Depp's makeup artist, uh, and he just won the Academy Award for Star Trek. Um, we have instructors here today in the school that worked with Michael Jackson on Thriller, that just finished working on Tron, worked on Thor, um, graduate, or instructors that have worked on films, the new Mission Impossible. Um, all of the instructors we bring into the school are working from the industry. We wouldn't be able to do that in any other city in the world. That's why we have to be here in Hollywood. We want to have working makeup artists come in and teach in between their jobs. And it's great for the students because they're able to come to Los Angeles and get work experience that says Hollywood on their resume. And they're able to train from singular people who are one of a kind in the history of makeup. And they're able to learn from them. And they're able to get a letter of recommendation or they're able to maybe even get hired by them. So it's very important we have working makeup artists. We have uh, teachers on staff that have Emmy Awards, Academy Awards. Um, we have teachers that are considered by their peers some of the best in the world at what they do. I want to thank you very much for your time and for letting us come in here and take a look around the school and talk to your instructors and your students and it's been educational to me and I hope it's been educational to you and we look forward to seeing you next time on Axiom. Gracious.